Good morning traders. This is Bruce at Veloxpro. If you can hear me and see my screen, can you just type yes in the questions and we'll get started. All right. Thanks guys. Excellent. Okay. So uh, uh, welcome back uh, to the uh, Bookmap Professional uh, Trader webinar series. Today we have Ferran Font uh, Remental. And uh, we've had him several times in the past. Uh, Ferran, uh, a highly respected trader. Um, he, he trades uh, during the uh, European session uh, and uh, he is located in Barcelona. Uh, he's a veteran trader uh, and um, uh, looks at the order book uh, to uh, enhance his um, uh, insights uh, for entry and exit. Uh, within his uh, trading methodologies. So uh, he's got some really interesting views. I think that uh, you're, you're really going to like it. Um, uh, before we get started here, though, let me um, uh, go over uh, risk disclaimer. Uh, trading futures and options on futures involves substan substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, if you want more information on Bookmap, uh, go to uh, bookmap.com. Uh, become a member there, and there's a lot of the free resources. Uh, these, uh, all of these uh, uh, webinars are recorded, and I'll show you where those are in just a moment. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to us at support at veloxpro.com. Uh, this is where you'll find the recorded webinars. It's uh, you'll have to be a member here under the members area. Okay, and uh, once you're in here. Uh, then click on uh, the education tab here, okay, and then click on uh, recorded webinars and live events, and that'll pop up the playlist here, okay. Uh, this is the one from yesterday. We had Futures Trader 71 on Tuesday. Uh, you can click on the playlist in the upper left-hand corner, uh, and you'll have the drop-down available here of all the recorded webinars. So uh, you can see the ones from last week and then you can see the one from Monday when we had Mete uh, and then yesterday's with uh, FT71, okay? All right, if you wanna give Bookmap a try, this is where you can find it. It's under the pricing tab. There's a, a fully featured uh, free trial here. It's 14 days <clears throat> and this is the advanced version, okay? So you get it with all the indicators and the capability to trade from the chart. Uh, there's uh, two different versions. There's a basic and an advanced. Okay? You can see the price is 49 per month, 99 per month for advanced. Uh, they are billed quarterly, so please note that. And uh, the difference between the two uh, is uh, primarily uh, the add-ons that you see here and uh, the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. Right? So uh, uh, anyway, uh, enough on that. Uh, let's get back to... Um, to Ferran, uh, he does have a, uh, a website, uh, it's called orderbooktrading.com. I put it into the chat and uh, I'll put it in again right now. You'll see it in the chat box uh, in GoToWebinar. Okay, there you go. Uh, and uh, uh, without further ado, let me just uh, pass this right over to Ferran and we'll get started. Hello, Bruce. Good afternoon. Good morning. How are you? It's been a long time now. It has. It has. Thank you. Yeah. No, we're really happy to have you back. I'm happy to. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start. Good morning, traders. It's a pleasure to be here today. I do really appreciate it. So thanks a lot, Bruce, for inviting me and thank you, everyone, for attending the webinar. I would like also to thank the people from Bookmap just to let me use their software. So let's start. What uh, we will be doing today is just after five minutes introduction of myself, then I will explain today just a couple of concepts regarding Bookmap which I use every day and I would like to share with you because I think they are really useful. Then, after that, I have prepared uh, just a short video clip where uh, 
you can see me, you can watch me trading and I record myself and we can discuss uh, the entries and, and so on. So uh, let's start with, uh, that's me, uh, <laughs> uh, first of all let me introduce myself. I am a discretionary, discretionary price action trading, trader, excuse me, using tools like order flow, market profile and Boomap, a company which I am not connected with. When I say that I am a discretional trader, I mean uh, that I am not systematic. Uh, that may sound strange to you, but I am not systematic in my entry, uh, I am not systematic in my stop loss, and I am not systematic also in size, uh, in the targets and everything. So, uh, as an independent trader, I'm sure there are many ways to profit from the market. Unfortunately, not always easy to find out. So, <clears throat> the way I read the order book is just my way, and at least it works for me. My biggest secret is that I don't have any secret. I'm just like everyone else. I just work hard to understand these tools, to discover what works and what doesn't. And today I'm gonna share my tactics and strategies so I'm convinced that you can do it. Uh, in order to convince you how powerful the bookmark tool is, and challenge you to keep to keep on listening to me. Let me show you the balance curve of my trading system, which I call it trading in the coast. Uh, the name is in honor of the Nobel Prize at Benoit Mandelbrot, when he used fractals to measure the coast of England. So I I stole the name. Uh, so my system. I call it trading in the coast. First of all, my apologize for my arrogance. I just wanted you to know that it is possible, that you can get it. So, can I please draw your attention to listen to my message? Uh, by the way, this system is being used by other traders. For instance, this is a uh, uh, let's say uh, a social trading uh, system so other traders are running the same systems and sharing it open in this uh, kind of social social sharing trading I don't know uh, what's the exact name so mm, let me explain of course uh, today uh, we will concentrate in one of the case success pieces of this system because it's not the purpose of this webinar to explain the system. So, we will concentrate in just one piece, how I'm using BoomMap to set my entry and improve my trade location. Anyway, despite I won't explain the whole system because I mentioned before this is not today uh, uh, purpose. Let me explain a couple of concepts in order to be able to understand the video clip I want to share later with you. So let me let me explain. As a discretionary trader, my system is really really very simple. My motto is think big and trade small. Let's say my trading system has just two parts. So, in our left and when the market is close, uh, in the first part I have to understand what's going on, where the institution has stepped in the market. 
I just need a map to know what is the context. I truly believe that price moves freely inside a market structure. The structure uh, is really important to me. So let's say that I am a trader who is uh, using Bookmap to enter in a special market structure. But I'm confirming that structure with the volume, with the volume footprint from the institutions. So I let's say that I just look for the institutional footprint. Then later, and when the market is already open, once I have my map, what remains is easier. I know where, I mean where, I mean the smart money come from and where they want to go. In this second part, and once the market I, I, I was saying is open, then is when execution becomes a skill. Of course, I cannot teach you right now a skill, because it's just a skill. But uh, I feel that with Bookmap and also reading the tape, you can improve your trade location easily. Let me mention right now, and this may sound strange, that I believe that the market moves in a deterministic uh, way inside that market structure. So, I think I know what will the next move be. In other words, price has a job to do. Search for liquidity. And here is where book maps becomes very useful. Uh, this liquidity uh, uh, is the key, the key piece in my system. This approach, which I mentioned, uh, some kind of deterministic next move, is not the same like the classical approach in trading. Uh, we used to say trading is a probabilistic system, or uh, other, other traders think that uh, a randomness trading approach. So, um, being said that, in order to be able to understand the video we are going to watch, let me explain uh, what is really new in my system. What is really new in my system is how I manage the risk, probably the key success factor of the system. We all know that leverage is the killer, but the use of fractal as a time frame, when Benoit Mandelbrot mentioned fractal, I mentioned time frame, will be for me the key to manage a non-directional net position in the market. Using the novel Mandelbrot Works has allowed me not only to understand the complexity of the market, but also use the randomness as my starting point to design a trading system. Okay, uh, this was just the introduction, so uh, let's start with the system. Okay. Well, <clears throat> once I have mentioned a couple of ideas behind my system, which we will be using later in an example, let's talk now about two concepts regarding Bookmap uh, that I am using to place my entries day after day. These two concepts are just quite a few pieces of my whole trading system that will be across the galaxy of my big picture puzzle. Uh, in fact, I must say that I am not using Bookmap as a standalone system, but as the secret key to my paradise. These two concepts are 
the collisions and the test. So let's say that trading is really, really very simple. Uh, so I keep trading simple uh, and I think that's the key. I want to trade with the trend. So I want to take longs. Uh, but placing my entry in a pullback. So I just want to know when will this pullback finish. In other words, where C will be. For instance here, uh, let's say I need to know where is C. So I will be using bookmap collision to let me know where is exactly that C. We could be using many concepts here. For instance, we could be saying XA. This is Al Brooks concepts. XA equal BC. Or maybe we could be using PH. Maybe. Maybe C will be near there in the previous PH. Or maybe in another case we could be using that trend line uh, or of that spike and channel. I really cannot tell you and the reason is because I really don't know. Anyway, let's figure out what can we see in bookmap when price reach C. That's it, the collision and later, just before the markup, let's see also the final test. So, the bookmap collision and the bookmap test are telling me where will this pullback finish and where I will be taking my, my long. So, let's go for it. Let's talk first about the collision. Okay, uh, 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 here we are, uh, we have the price, it's been in an uptrend and of course what I just want to know is where that C will be, maybe will be there, maybe will be there. Okay, let's see. The first concept, the first concept, what I'm looking is some kind of a zipper, like a chameleon watching the price, watching the liquidity on a tree branch. So, what I need in the uptrend is the price to stop and then go up, go down, go up, some kind of a zipper, some kind of a chameleon stop there. And then the chameleon suddenly what I need is a sell-off. I need a sell-off, a panic sell-off. What will this move make? Of course, those traders looking for long, there, there and there, for sure will panic and then close, which will be liquidity again, will be a sell market order. At the same time, maybe they will be doing revenge trading and will feel inside themselves that the price is escaping again from them and maybe it's a temptation taking shorts. So, I will be looking for after the chameleon on the branch tree for that parabolic move toward the liquidity. So, let's see the chameleon, chameleon first watching the fly.
and then the sell off panics, moving towards liquidity. So let's see what happens. Uh, of course, we all know that that will be my K or entry point, that will be my reaction point. But will you ask me, Ferran, will you take longs there? Not. For sure not. Or at least not yet. What I want to study there is just the price action, the price behavior in that spot. So what I'm looking for, first of all, is how few milliseconds or few seconds before the collision takes place, I want to see how institutions are removing the liquidity. Let's see how there they are cancelling their buy limit order. Of course, the high frequency machine want to be the first in the queue. For that reason, they are placing orders below and above. But uh, I know because of some services like call location, they really don't know, or at least that's my opinion, they really don't know the order book to place hundreds and hundreds of orders in just 15 milliseconds. So, what I will be watching is how they are cancelling the order. If we look that figure in the classical DOM, what we will see is a lot of liquidity there, but because they are cancelling that buy limit order, anyone looking at the DOM will feel that the price is free to fall down because the, the buy limit order is being cancelled, so there's nothing there. So after uh, they remove the liquidity, what I need to watch for is the collision. And that's the key point. So let's see how they have cancelled the buy limit order and suddenly the price is being blocked there and the dots begin to grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up. At the same time, it's going nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. It's being blocked. And again, the volume, which is, that's the average volume, is growing up, growing up, growing up, growing up. So that, that I mentioned that this is the collision. Look how, uh, while the big dots are getting fat, the volume is increasing. As you can see, I have placed my buy limit order in that place because I am not afraid of that move. So what comes next? So uh, let's say that this is what I'm looking for. Uh, that's exactly what I, uh, uh, that the Wyckoff, the Richard Wyckoff concept, that's absorption and that's responsive buyers there. That's exactly uh, my K entry point for longs. So what comes next is just the price, the markup, and let's see the liquidity there, and the volume, and, and that's it. Target was hit in this case. And uh, now uh, let's uh, look at the second concept. That move uh, was really a strong collision and the price uh, escaped immediately. But many, many times, uh, to me, one of the biggest concepts, which is not easy to see 
in the market is what I call the test. In this case, the yes. Let's see how price is taking over all the liquidity, is eating liquidity, but suddenly price stop. You will ask me, Ferran, do you know really if this liquidity will work or this liquidity will work or maybe there or maybe there? I really don't know. But what I can see is just that price is just eating, eating, taking over, taking over the liquidity and I can see how price has stopped the yes and then a move, another move and what is important to me is this, it's what I call the test. They are knocking at the door. They are knocking at the door. They are knocking at the door. This is like a wall of concrete and I want to see how they are just sitting there and not removing at all that wall of liquidity and then after the liquidity they show how powerful they are, then the price moves up. So let's see another example. In this case is the, the 6Z, the product which I mostly trade. In this case is again the same concept. Um, I like to trade with the trend, then XABC. And look, stop, stop and go, then they are eating the liquidity, price is coming down until a place where there is some kind of reaction. But that is not enough. What do I need? Knock, knock, knocking at the door. Knock, knock, again and again. Believe me that few seconds after the price was there. Let's see how they are sitting there. 300 lots, maybe 10 times the volume that is being traded in that moment. And uh, we can see again many, many things like a spoofing there and uh, some kind of back feeling. But to me, the test is important. Regarding experience, and that's what we will be seeing in the video in a few seconds uh, later, I know the behavior in the AES. If when we are using the, this concept in the ES, then the price, they won't let the price pass through the liquidity and go. My experience in the ES is that many, many times they make that move. Just extend the price a few ticks below the level and go, which I will not be afraid of it. Why? Because the die is cast and I know that they are in. So be prepared for the 6Z to extend a little. Uh, the liquidity and this doesn't mean this doesn't mean that the concept don't work it's just that due to lack of liquidity uh, price can make some kind of a slippage let's see another example again price coming down taking the liquidity taking the liquidity, the move, the panic move towards the right through liquidity. In fact, let's say the problem with the order book is to distinguish between fake and real liquidity. So I can see there the same concept. 
how price is reacting, but testing, testing, and testing, and then boom, go. That test, I, I used to say that it's some kind more of a scork screw. They a wall of concrete. Again, the rock. Again, the rock. Market used to do something twice. If it's not able to do it, then it will do the opposite. Let's see again how volume any time that the price goes to that place. Okay, so uh, let's go to to watch uh, the video and let's see uh, this all these concepts in real time. Okay. Okay. So let me prepare. Okay, let me prepare everything. I will close that. Uh, before uh, watching at the video, I mentioned that I am just a discretionary trader. I look for the big picture. Uh, this is the euro a few days ago. So let's talk about market situation. Let's talk what's happening there. So if as I mentioned before, if I know what the smart money is doing, then I know what I must do. In this case, the price is just in a some kind of correction, expansion, and from December the 1st, price is being in some kind of contraction. Level, test, not high, and then we reach to a strong resistance and price try to break it three times. One, let's say, two, and again three. We all know that three is the magical number. So let's say that bus is too full, so we have just a creek. I will tell you that I normally buy first attempt to cross the creek. The spike, I know that they are short already. I used to buy I used to buy first attempt to cross the creek because I know that will be difficult at the first attempt. So finally, I can see how uh, in this case there is a failure and what comes next, boom, an avalanche effect crossing across the creek. Let's say that there is the entry point. That's the risk, the one to one risk ratio comes to the place where we will be looking for a long right now. So let's see what's going there. All right. So let's go for it. We all know where we are. Price is in some kind of sell-off. And uh, let's start with the video. And let's see what's happening there. I must say that uh, really this new feature in Bookmap, the cumulative delta, is really something very, very useful. So we are completely in green, in this case, the indicator is in blue. How? I cannot explain why the price is been falling down and the cumulative delta is going up. So it's some kind of delta divergence, which I am really interested in some in, in that specific hot spot. 
uh, as you can see, I had just about entry. I really don't know how I took along there. Uh, it's just a falling knife I want to catch in the air. So uh, let's forget about this. <laughs> I, I'm not going to, to show you that bad entry. So let's concentrate in, the, in my best entries. Uh, what I will be looking there is some kind of price behavior. I have some other notes here, here we have. I will, I will be looking for some kind of stopping volume, then a climax where I want to watch for uh, volume, the big dots there, then will take us to the creek, and then finally some cork screw, some test, some lack of supply, finally to break, jump across the creek and go with the trend. This is just accumulation distribution area. And this is what I will be doing. So, let's come back to the video. We are there. I will not be buying the climax. I need volume to come. And then, I will take longs there. I will take longs just at the test of that cluster. So, let's come back to the, to the clip. Let's say that you can see I'm really interested in that big, 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 really big, big volume. This is absorption, but, uh, but uh, look, really, really, there is something important there. Is there. Look at this. Look at the test. Look at the test there. Just let's, let's look how the price is really uh, they are uh, the line in the sun. Let's say that's the line in the sun. So, I will be taking longs there. So, I, I'm just waiting. Uh, let's say that this is the stopping volume. I just need the final climax. Then, a test of the creek. And finally, in that place, I will be taking longs, but, but, very important, I took note of that. Reaction, test, test, let's, let's see it again. Test, 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 test. Okay, they are extending just to make a new test of that low, just to check out, a spring, but I'm really pay attention to the level. So, that is the K level, my K level for today. Uh, so, let's see. I must say that this is just a SIM account. It's just a SIM account. It's not real money. It's because uh, this was not the purpose. The purpose was not trading, but I was recording this just for educational purposes. So, a new test, let's see again, very important, let's see there, really, really, attention, the collision, the dots, the blocking, the back, the back feeling, the liquidity, that's the move, okay, let's take longs, but not yet, let's be patient, because I'm wrong, I don't know. Again, uh, I think the, 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 the possibility to draw in the chart, I think it's really, really very important. Let's see how I can draw uh, from now on in the chart of UMAP. So, okay, mm, <laughs> the wall of concrete is there. Let's see in the in UMAP how I can watch ah, that big volume there, the wall of concrete I was mentioning there. Okay, fantastic, fantastic for our lungs. So, let me stop right now again, and let's see where we are. Now, we are there. We are there, a stopping volume, reaction to the creek, the automatic reaction, and then the final sell of boom. I'm not afraid it because the collision on my K level. 
and then what we will be looking is for an entry there, which I miss, then I think I miss that, but let's take that entries, all right? First uh, target will be there, where I will be fading the trend, because I show you before that first attempt to cross the creek will fail, so I will also take that short in the scalping for, let's say, 30, 40 points. Finally, the price cross across the creek, jump across the creek, and that's the target, the one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. So that will be the final target for us. So let's see if we can do the best. Now we, we all know where we are. I show the market structure just for you to notice the, 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 the big delta. I normally for 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, I need to take longs there. So for the moment just watching, watching what's going there. Let's watch, let's, let's see what happens. Let's watch the price going up, going up, and again, we are uh, uh, about in a very interesting level. Maybe I should take that long, which I missed because I was not sure, so I lost the opportunity to take longs. This is uh, four times the real speed of the market. It's because of uh, the lack of time. So, okay, we lose the opportunity, nothing happens. Uh, in, in the next minutes, for sure, we will have any one. And again, what I used to do is to make, to work with the nanostructure. That kind of walking stick, that's a walking stick in our K level. It's really important to me. That will be my K entry point. So, let's see now, let's see now the collision, liquidity coming to our position, so I'm long in the market. I'm taking three lots, so let's see what happens. That's the line in the sun, the walking stick, and you see? So there's nothing more we can do. The test, the test, let's see. I hope you, you had the opportunity to see. Big wall of concrete, and just wait, there's nothing more we can do. Let's wait, 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 and let's see what happens. I'm not sure of myself, <laughs> so now uh, maybe I look at the big picture <laughs> just to be sure what happens there, because maybe the price will make another, another test. So <laughs> for that reason, we better look at, at the big picture. So, the creek was there, so I hesitate on my entry, let, but let me stop the price and look at the tape. I'm a tape uh, reader, uh, just let me show you uh, in a minute what's there. So, the entry, the key, the answer, the secret of my entry, is not there. The answer is in your left. The answer is there. Let's see what's there in the tape. Let's let's see. Look. That's what we have. A sell off and a, a candle with high big range, but instead look at the delta, a narrow high volume low range, big range in the candle, but instead we have a green delta divergence, and what is the key level is there, that print, that plot, that's my entry, so the reason for my entry long there is not here, but there, so let's see how it unfolds. Unfortunately, 
So first target will be at the downtrend line. So let's see. Maybe they make another test. I really don't know, but I can see some kind of back filling, moving the order there, moving the order there. So unless the price will break through my nano structure, I will be in. So I can accept some test of this liquidity. I don't know. You can see that uh, what I will do is to add to my longs. To add to my longs because look at the price behavior there. The liquidity again. So let's take another long. Why? Because this is protecting us. This is the line in the sun. Unfortunately, I lost. I lost. No. Let's see. There it is. I add to my position. And now, again, there's nothing more I can do. They test again. The test. Look how they decide to test once, twice, test, test test, test, and go. I place the final target there because that's the stopping volume, the automatic reaction, the test, and that's the final target, the creek. Because I really cannot tell you if they will cross the creek. So let's see the price, how it unfolds. Look what I'm doing. I'm just doing and just uh, uh, notice that this is just accumulation distribution on that long entry. So that's the entry, that's the risk, and that's the one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. So let's see. That's the target. Let's see. Uh, normally, I used to place that order, and you will see me how I move up and down, because I used to use Bookmap also to know exactly where I need to place one tick below the liquidity. That's it. That's it. Look. They are stopping again. Wall of concrete. I need to close immediately. Oh, I move. Look, I will. I move down my 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 target, but I was not hit. We know market tries to do things twice, so for sure I, we will have another opportunity. So look how I move down my target. As soon as I saw the wall of concrete, how they were sitting there again. A, a climatic volume over the wall of concrete. So let's hope. Otherwise, I will close at the market. Oh, unfortunately, I was not able to close. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see again. I'm looking at the big picture and notice again the cumulative delta. How price is moving up, but the delta is the delta was there is going down. So probably a correction is is soon will come. So testing the creek, we need we need to close everything and go to the next trade. So let me pass the video. So I'm flat right now. Uh, Terran, why did you close the trade? Maybe this will move 1,000 points up. This doesn't bother me at all. That was my entry. That was my target. I used Bullmap to move up and down my 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 targets because Bullmap is helping me a lot there. And I, I follow my trading plan, so I'm happy with myself, despite the fact price can give us thousands and thousands of points. So let's go to the next trade. I'm short there. Let's see again. 
Okay. So uh, I, I, I sell first attempt to cross the creek. Uh, I think we are lack of time, but see again the see again the reversing position. I will stop. Just you to notice the uptrend. Yes, we could not cross the downtrend line. Price made the zipper, the chameleon on the tree, and suddenly, what did the price do? Look at the fly. Boom. But let's remember how this is the K entry point. So again, volume, wall of concrete, and our key level we noticed at the beginning of the session. I would like you to notice how, again, the delta is increasing and uh, <laughs> there's nothing more, much more to say. So, they are respecting our level. And that's all. Look at the tape, look at the tape in that hot spot, uh, that line in the sun. That's the first entry, and that's the second entry. I just want you to notice a big effort people hitting on the beat, but little reward. And again, where Bookmap show us that by limit orders, that let's say those are responsive buyers, and suddenly we get initiative buyers and go. Again, few minutes later, we get the same, some kind of congestion, but I can see they are long already. And in this case, there is no absorption, but lack of supply, exhaustion. And a nice delta again, and go. So, this is all for today. Here we have our entries. And uh, mm, let's now go to the... So I close again my target. First entry, target hit. Second entry, target hit. So uh, that was the right place. Probably now they will jump across the creek. But my trading plan was to take that liquidity that I can see in Bookmap to close my orders. So I'm happy with myself, and that's all. So uh, this is all for today. I just uh, would like uh, you to know if you have any questions, and maybe we could open the microphone, Bruce, if you wish, and just. Uh, you can take control and just uh, the attendees to make uh, their questions. Yep, yeah, sure. No, uh, great, great stuff, Ferran. Yeah, thank you very much. I mean, uh, I really like the way that uh, you're you're integrating the um, uh, looking at that bigger picture. You know what you're looking for, uh, and then you're looking for the confirmation uh, in the book, and uh, uh, and the book is showing it right there in front of you. Uh, and uh, uh, that that is the uh, uh, the, the key for for uh, your your entries, your ex exits, and and your trade management there. Um, so uh, let me let me see. Let me, you are right. You are right, Bruce. Because uh, if Bookmap tells you exactly where you need to place your buy limit order, then you 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 not only improve your trade location, but at the same time improve your risk reward ratio for that reason i agree with you what you are what with, with what you are saying right now um yeah i mean it's just uh, it, it's so um so good to see it when it when it's there it, it confirms your 
your methodology. And um, uh, uh, any, anyway, right. uh, let, let me get to some of the, the questions here. Uh, they're starting to, uh, to come in now. Uh, and the first question uh, uh, a while back uh, was about your internet connection. Uh, you're in Barcelona, so uh, there was interest in uh, what kind of connection uh, you have uh, for speeds for uh, uh, hitting the uh, CME. Uh, in fact, um, uh, I have a 60 gigabytes connection, but uh, uh, the, the brokerage firm is giving me uh, special conditions, so I just have 30 milliseconds. So in fact, uh, I'm here in, located in Barcelona, but uh, the brokerage firm uh, is just giving a really very fast speed, let's say 30 milliseconds. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, so yes, I know I'm far away from the market, but uh, I'm trading uh, from a server. So the, 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 what you, what, what I have shown before, my equity curve. So it's uh, this is from the uh, from the broker, and in this case, uh, there is from a, a server. I, I'm I'm hitting there, but the order uh, goes directly in just. 30 milliseconds to the market. Let's say that 50 in the worst case scenario. Okay, well, that's a pretty pretty fast uh, internet connection. Uh, so let's see here. Um, uh, Can we use Bookmap for um, uh, analysis, uh, market profile, and, and detect levels? It look. I mean, that's exactly how you are. Um, you're using uh, Bookmap. Is uh, 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 you're looking at your candlestick chart, and then you're looking at your uh, footprint chart as well. But uh, you look to the book to understand the uh, the auction and the the liquidity. You are uh, right. You are right. Again, uh, this trader, uh, I'm using uh, I'm using Bookmap to look at the profile uh, because let's have a look at the screen right now. Price came to that position, but most of the volume was there. Let's say that when the price come to the our K level, few volume was traded there. So I'm always, always, always looking at Bob Map profile where I can see where uh, the traders are really taken. So uh, this, let's say that this is just volatility. It's just a random walk, a price discovery. So in this case, Bob Map is really useful just to 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 see uh, the the profile. So, as I mentioned before, I do a map, a map which is uh, the profile in, the, in our entry in for today. That was our K entry. And we have a reaction point, a walking stick, and then volume. So I have a map with market structure plus the profile plus the footprint chart. Who, this map is telling me exactly that the place where I want to belong, and then I must confirm with Google Map. So yes, I'm using the profile in, in, in of Google Map in this way. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, ah. Uh, and then uh, you explained the the uh, wall of concrete and looking at very thick levels of um, liquidity. But um, how how do you determine uh, between uh, liqu fake liquidity that is pulled or that uh, wall of concrete that that uh, remains there? 
Yes, uh, it's just price behavior. Uh, I want to see the price falling with panic against that liquidity. The stronger you hit the ball, uh, then uh, the, the, the far away will go against the wall. And I want to see they sitting there, placing the liquidity and not removing it. When there is fake liquidity, few seconds before price reach there, that liquidity will be immediately removed. In our case, I want to see them sitting there and just waiting. They have time and they use time against us. So they sit there and just wait, hit, 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 the cork a screw, the wall of concrete and not removing it. That's it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, good question about the um, the FX markets here. Um, just a minute here. Let me digest this question. Ah, okay. Uh, no, it's it's more a question about spot market versus uh, uh, currency futures. Uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, the spot market. Uh, do do you? Um, I guess. Uh, follow the the spot FX as well and take trades um, uh, based off of uh, the currency futures right right that's what I do I ah, use okay. Google to know where to entry and you can see this is brokerage time but then I hit my entries in the spot Forex market for that reason sometimes price there and price there is not the same. So this is my local time, which is not the same that brokerage time. So my finger is in the spot forex market, but I just look at the CME uh, market because I get the volume there. Bruce, you know that liquidity uh, and volume you get from the forex market is not through volume. So we better don't look at it. So yes, I look at the CME, but place my order in the in the forex market. Okay, okay. No, that's a that's a nice combination uh, uh, since uh, uh, it allows you to trade uh, the spot market and have access to liquidity. Uh, and volume uh, analysis. You are right because if we mentioned before that the key is the low leverage, uh, being uh, market neutral in the market, uh, in this case the forex market allow you to scale in and scale out your positions and always uh, manage uh, the risk. So it's a good, I think it's a good idea. Okay, uh, you just answered a question that just came in as well about uh, why not trade the futures, but uh, the scaling uh, uh, and um, uh, being able to uh, uh, enter and exit many times. Right, right, right. Uh, at the same time, uh, regarding uh, Benoit Mandelbrot system, trading the coast, I work with two legs. Uh, the leg long and the leg short. So if you know in futures market, in case I open the short leg, that will force me to close the long leg. So in, in a case where I want to trade the, the, a lower fractile, let's say a lower time frame, the, the futures market wouldn't allow me to be short and long at the same time because because that would close my my entry and this is possible in the forex market of course you can have two accounts one for the longs another for the short but i think it's more easier to do the way i do 
Okay, uh, let's see. There's some uh, some questions. Um, well, let's see. Uh, yes. So the yeah the answer for the the trading the um, uh, he 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 looks to the currency futures, uh, but is placing his orders uh, within uh, uh, the spot market. Is the answer there? Um, and um, let's see other question uh, um, some uh, some questions about your um, your education uh, your your website um, and uh, recommended readings uh, like Wyckoff uh, type of methodologies um, and uh, I've uh, inputted your uh, uh, website uh, URL uh, but um, uh, it, are there other videos and examples uh, people can find there? Yes, if you subscribe to the to the channel uh, many many times, I trade uh, uh, in real time. I open, I share my screens, so I you can see uh, the, the, how I trade, and then uh, I from time to time. I, I send it for free, uh, many, many videos, so explaining the entries and explaining the concepts. Unfortunately, maybe there are not uh, many, many books on Benoit Mandelbrot, uh, you can go to their works, or uh, maybe regarding how to really uh, read uh, the big picture, understand how price moves. Uh, but uh, just subscribing, there, there is many, many material there, and from time to time I share not only entries, but for instance, those are my private notes, there are many, many slides like this, and to followers, then I send many, many material for free. Okay. So just, just visit the page and just do just make like in my video channel and that I would be happy just if you do that. Okay. All right. I think that answers a few of the questions there about uh, uh, your website. Um, and uh, any um, recommendations for uh, your Mandelbrot material uh, for uh, researching uh, uh, that methodology? Uh, uh, maybe the best would be to look at my um, at my YouTube channel. That methodology uh, maybe we cannot have uh, many many information there. Uh, the concept is trade a small, be a discretional trader. Uh, manage the risk, uh, and you can read, for instance, some books uh, regarding these concepts, for instance, Bear Watching in Lion's Country from Dir Dutois, where he talks about randomness. Uh, you can read the books from uh, a Random Walk in Wall Street. Uh, you can read the books Black Swan. You can read uh, all the works from the brokerage firm Oanda. Uh, in, uh, from his uh, owner, Richard Olson, especially the document, How to Trade. You can read, uh, of course, James Dalton's uh, uh, book. But if you want to know how to manage all these concepts, uh, maybe those are good books just to uh, have some ideas. But I, I can remember that I, I did some videos where I explained uh, the system. Or maybe just subscribe for next time I, I will explain. Okay. Okay. I think, uh, I think that wraps... Uh, uh, Bruce, it's nothing amazing. Uh, what I do is simple. I'm trading naked. Discretionary trader. Try to understand what's going on. So it's me, the price, and my mouse. And just think, I trade a small, 
I'm always market neutral and then use bookmap to place the exact entry. If things uh, go wrong, uh, then I manage the stop in a special way which ta would take us mm, mm, too much time for this afternoon. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's great. No, I think thank you very much, Ferran. Uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, and um, uh, if uh, if you have any other uh, questions for Ferran, you can you can reach out to him uh, at his uh, orderbooktrading.com uh, website. I put it in the chat there for you. Uh, and um, uh, let's see. I think that uh, that that about wraps it up. So thank you, Bruce, again for inviting me. It's been a pleasure being here. You know that I always learn by sharing knowledge with other traders. So I'm, it's been a pleasure uh, this afternoon, this morning, uh, being here with you. Yeah, thank you very much, Ferran. We'll uh, we'll have the uh, recording up uh, in about uh, maybe an hour, hour and a half, uh, and uh, and people can review uh, the webinar. Uh, from uh, bookmap.com in the in the members area under the uh, education tab there. So uh, yeah, thanks again, Ferran. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Okay, bye everybody. Bye 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 bye.